It is May the 20th, and I'm getting ready to open the kiln for the first time for a cone 6 firing. This is the results of video 18. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have a happy face or a sad face, but my husband and my child here already peaked in the kiln, so I hope I'm not going to have a sad face. I can't go by what they say. Okay. Woo! Goodness. Well, see my cones? I want you to get close enough to that also for me. Okay. Wow. I hope these um, cones are going to come up. This was a cone 5. If you remember, I put a cone 5 in to see if the top was getting hot enough. Although I have um, no bowls in the top, and I know the heat's getting dis distributed very well. Um, I didn't have to worry about that. But um, this is 5 and this is 6. And this looks pretty good. And the kiln only got to 2200 and... Was it 2222? No. 2220? No. 20, yeah. 2232. No, it didn't get 32. It, I hope this it, is it held at 2221. Okay. When I come out, um, it had a 15 minute hold on it. So when I come out at the, um, the beginning, I guess at the beginning of Austin looking at it, was what was it? Did it, you see 2232? 2221 is when I came out here. Yours is 2221. Okay, when I come out, it was 2222, um, and it had like four minutes left. So, yeah, I didn't get out here exactly on time. Huh? One ran on the shelf. Oh, it ran on the shelf. Oh, that wasn't nice to tell me that yet. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, Lord. That's okay. That's what we have kiln wash for. That's what we have husbands for. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This kiln is very hot still to me. It's 215 degrees. I'm not sure if I'll be picking this up, but from what I see, wow. I see some beauties in here already. Wow. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Wow. This is going to be pretty when I lift this up. Okay, I'm gonna have to get what? me a mitt. What about that cup? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm hoping I can tell you. Well, it's mine now. No, that cup's mine. I probably won't be able to tell you until I get the video, um, the previous video, because I don't remember. Um, that's the problem with this. Okay, let me go with this one here. This is the wash that I used, and this has got chum plum. I think it was like three or four coats I put a chum plum. Now that's beautiful, I like this. The wash looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave that in the kiln right now. I think we're just gonna only look at the top ones for right now while it's hot. This, I already know, um, is the Celadon. Don Goodrich told me, um, I guess I was asking for some advice on what to use on these bowls that I ch I've got chattering on. And this is not a deep chatter, it's just a, um, I guess the bowl is kind of dry and didn't have the right tools, so it wasn't a deep chatter. But anyway, for texture, he thought the celadon would look good. This celadon turned out beautiful. And the wash actually looks good on the bottom. I like this. I think it kind of went a little thin and a little thick in areas, but. For a test, I think I like that. See, the inside of the bowl is very, very beautiful. Now, I want to say that I used the smoked cinnamon. Yeah, this is what I used. I used the smoked cinnamon Renaissance glazes on this bowl. Then I used the, um, let me get the color chart. Then I used the frosted brick. Um, a little ways and I thought I put the oatmeal over the top of this as well I did as you can see it that the Renaissance glazes actually do not run but you know that melted into each other it comes sick so I think that's kind of cute I really love the color of this that chum plum is very beautiful
Um, this here, I'm not sure of. I'm sorry, I'm just going to show them to you and I will be updating the video as we go along. This is the smut cinnamon, I think, with with the Renaissance over the top, I think. It was a, um, I think it's the Opal Luster. Wow, at least I got some pretty stuff in here. This here is quite pretty. Remember, this is the bowl. I can't remember what I um, put on the outside. Unfortunately, <laughs> I probably still don't know what I use because it's such a green color. This almost looks like Celadon here. I'm not sure. Let's do this for last. This is another smoked cinnamon. That looks like the uh, Eagle Nebula. I like you like that. If you if you ever seen uh, like in a science very book, different. if you've ever seen in a science book a place called the Eagle Nebula. It looks just like that, the colors and everything. I don't like opening my counter, not knowing what I use, but this is beautiful. Now, Austin, I heard you say you want this. Book. Yes, that's mine. But now this is this is the kind of results that I'm looking for right here. Um, I wouldn't pick it up like that. The blue, what blue did I have that that I used? Uh, that's the same that Hunter used on hers. I think. Oh, wait a minute! I'll bet you anything. This is gun um gunmetal green. That's not no green. That's a blue. That's yeah, a no, blue. That's not a green. That's not. It's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a Shino mug, and it has. Yeah, can you get the inside? You see the inside? Yeah. Wow, that is just wow. I keep complaining because I've been at this almost a year, and I've had nothing to actually run together and be very beautiful. So I would consider this piece to be beautiful. My husband's laughing. Yeah, you don't agree. Come on now, you've seen stuff. Yep. It just doesn't look quite right. Wow. Looks good. But I'm just not sure what I used. Okay. Um, we got drippy shelves next. And I am going to look. So <laughs> I'm going to look at the next shelf. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back in. I don't want anything to happen to them. And by the way, this is only the first cone six firing. There will be a second one to some of these bowls. Experimenting. That's what it's all about. Having fun. Okay, this mixing bowl was done with the Renaissance glazes. As I said, it was the smoked, the smoked cinnamon. Had about three coats and had two coats of frosted brick. And it had two coats dabbed on the rim of the oatmeal, which you can see is very light here. I've already showed you, but um, I went back and reviewed the, the video just so I can keep some order here. If I'm not helping anyone else out there, then it's not really doing me any good to video this. I'm trying to save other people trouble. But in the same process, one person's kiln doesn't work exactly like another one's. But hopefully this will give you some insight on how some of the colors work. Okay, this cup here has the smoked cinnamon and frosted brick with oatmeal over the top. Okay, this cup here was done with a Kodashino and the Renaissance frosted brick and oatmeal over the top. It looks like they all just melted into one. In fact, I can't hardly see any chino on here. This cup here was done with a coat of chino. And it also has the frosted brick. Well, that's what it says here, but this sure does look like the um, lavender color. Okay. This is, as you can see, it ran. And thank God for kiln wash. We might be able to grind this off. 
This is gunmetal green. And it really, really is a runny glaze. But I really, really like it. And I'm not really a green person. But I think I like the thick and the thin here. I like the way it um, goes over the, the uh, texture anyway. It's pretty inside. Almost gives a blue looking effect in there. Here's a handleless cup that I did. It also melted on my shelves. Um, it's I think it's very pretty though. Um, this is gunmetal green. It was applied pretty thick, probably about three or four coats. And also I put oatmeal over the top. If you will see, it's very light on the top here, and that is why. There again, if you look inside, it looks very blue looking. Okay, this bowl here was dipped one time in Chino. And then it was, I put two coats of really red over that. And then I put, okay, then I dipped it about a half of an inch over the rim. Really, it does not show up very much, but it's just got just enough of that Chino to show up in there. And this bowl has some texture on it too. I kind of like this bowl. And this next bowl is had two. Okay, let me see. Has two dips of chino and probably about three or four coats of the really red. And you can see how dark the bottom is. That does not look too good. This bowl appears to have chicken pox, but this is what happens when the bowl is fully dry and it does not explode during the bisque firing. Um, and it has a bubble in it, as you can see. There's a bubble there. It's a bubble here. Bubble on, looks like in the bottom. Bubble on the side here. Yeah, the chicken pox bowl. Okay. Well, anyway, it didn't explode because it was fully dry. Um, but it went through the best fire and I didn't catch it. Um, it. It probably didn't do it during the best fire, um, but it did do it um, with this high heat on this cone six. So that is my assumption here that that is what has happened. Okay, this bowl here, as I was looking at a while ago, this had several coats of shun plum on it, and it was dabbed with fire brick. Sorry, it was dab dabbed with fire brick here. Didn't really show up too much like this. You can barely see the fire brick in there on the sides. As for this bowl, I'm sure you remember me saying that I couldn't remember what I did. Well, Janice even commented that she liked the shape of this bowl. I do not know what I did to get this bowl this color. This is very sad because I like this. It appears to be um, gunmetal green. I'm pretty sure that is not what it is. So, I, like I said, I have to pay more closely attention to what I do. This does appear to be that um, opal luster, though, to me. But yet, when I see the greens in it, it doesn't look that way. Anyway, I like this bowl. Okay, I left the prettiest ones for last. This is a Dipashino and gunmetal green over it. And like I said, the gunmetal green, it loves to run. I was lucky with the way that I do the, the cups at the bottom that has a ridge there where it usually doesn't run over them. And I was also lucky that I didn't get any closer to uh, the edge with the glaze. This is very, very pretty. 
want to see on the inside. Here's the edges. A lot of ways the gunmetal green, it puts out a blue color. Well, I guess you can see it right there. It's just got different colors. It's very, very pretty. This will be one right here that I will definitely be using. So, Janice, I'm picking them as I go. I'm finally getting my six. <laughs> but this is going to be two of them right here. Chino and gunmetal green. Okay, it took me a little while for me to decide what in the world did I use on this beautiful cup here. Now this has got a rich blue look to it here. I don't even think that the video camera, Chris hold this, I don't think the, the camera is going to really pick up what this really looks like. I really wish, because looking through the lens here, it looks all blue. But if you hold it up here, it's... It's a uh, Chino and Blue Rutile, by the way. Um, when I get to this bottom shelf, you'll see where my nieces um, were doing their pinch pots. And um, when Hunter got finished, there was some glaze left, and I didn't want to waste it. So what happened was I never really written, uh, wrote this down. But I used that glaze because I didn't want to waste it. This is so pretty. It looks almost like purple, doesn't it? You think it does? Purple, and it's got white flowing down it. Um, it's got the blue color. Um, oh, I don't know. It's just, to me, that's just a gorgeous cup. I'm just hoping and praying that I can repeat this again. Um, I was kind of well pleased with the way the cup was made. So, all right, here's to the next shelves. I also wanted you to notice that Cone 5 is the first one. It's definitely melted on the shelf. Cone 6. Well, it appears to be okay. I guess it, that that's probably well. It's almost almost too much. And then that's the seven. I think what has happened is that 15 minute hold really really made it cook in there. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. I thought that this turned out pretty good. So um, as far as my test kiln, as far as testing the kiln, I think that it's working properly. Okay, I have something very seriously wrong with the inside of this kiln at the bottom. I'm going to show you, um, I did write down bowl 74, 73, 72, and as you see, I used Chun Red, I used one coat on bowl 74. Let's just take that one for instance. Let me see which one that was. I think it was. 74 right here what in the world like there is no color on it whatsoever this clear is glossy like a I don't know kind of like a light greenish tint I don't even have I, I didn't even have um, clear glaze out or anything this is just terrible it's almost like it just heated it to where it just um, disappeared the color and just left the gloss Okay, that's 74 and then 73 here shun red I use two coats it's got to be this one Let's see. bowl number 73 same thing looks like it might have been a little bit darker but it almost appears to be a green color this is strange, strange. Now, this is probably the first time I've seen a glaze um, actually turn a different color. I mean, a light color like this. I mean, you saw the chun, chun red on this one at the top of the um, top of the kiln, but at the bottom it disappears. So I don't know. Did maybe I didn't use enough? And then. Bowl 72, one dip of Chino, sorry, two coats of Chun Red. And then it says I re-dipped the rim. As you can see, that's another, see it looks green looking. 
Okay, here comes my two nieces. They happen to be at my mother's, so they come in to look at their bowls for the first time. Yes, y'all on there already. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Which one is whose? That one's mine. This one's mine? Alright, let's see if you can pick it up. It should, it shouldn't be too hot. Don't drop them. Oh, oh yours run with it in the, in the thing. The, see how pretty that is? Mm. I told y'all, don't wipe it then. Now look at Hunter's. How her blue and it. Yeah, yours too. Look at that. I know it is. They're hot. You don't think yours is pretty? Are. Yeah, mine's pretty. Look inside it. See what I told you about the um, texture? Mm -hmm. I <laughs> love that, Hunter. Thank you. Look at there. I did it myself. You did? I know. That's what I'm saying. Let me see yours. Wow, Faye. Can't really see the... I'm sorry, but if I had to pick one, I'd pick Hunter's. Not just because she's a yeah, cousin, just beautiful. it looks better. I don't know, I like this. Look at this. Yeah, I like It looks like, fast. to me, it looks like a waterfall. Can I hold a Hunter? See that gunmetal green? Hear me? Not hot. It no, is. It feels hey, like my back. Guess what? Guess what? Oh, you can eat out of that. You can off. Okay, what did you use on your bowls? Deep fire brick and blue or teal. Okay, that blue rutile is beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you happy with your bowl? Yes, it's beautiful. Just oh. because I made it. Well, well, we just might have to make some more. Okay, Faith. I use tuxedo black and gunmetal green. Do you like your bowl? I love it. Are you happy well, with the way it turned good. out? You are? Oh, that good. Well, good. You know what? I like y'all's bowls so much. Can I keep them? No, really, y'all. That's not fair. You sure I can't keep them? I'm very sure. Okay, you gonna come back and make another bowl with me? All right. I'll be here when the school gets out. Okay. But this is the red gold here that I fired um, in the last firing, and I was so disappointed with. This is cone six today. If you remember how flat it looked before, it's very beautiful at cone six. So it come out very shiny and it's, there's nothing dull or um, it's not matte like it was. This cup, I wanted to get a picture of it. I don't know if you'll be, be able to really see this as well. But it has two coats of deep fire brick and it had two coats of textured turquoise on it. And I want you to see the inside of that. If you can see that, boy, the lights get going to cause a glare here. You can see the turquoise at the bottom around the rim there. I really like this cup too. You know, it only just gives a few little turquoise highlights here and there. That deep fire brick is uh, very strong on the cup. That's kind of weird because it's only two, two coats. Anyway, it turned out really nice. So, I would say that these are the three prettiest things I got out of the kiln was those three cups. And again, I'm pleased with this tapas plate that I redone. I think it turned out a whole lot better than what the last kiln load looked like. Okay, well this is it for this kiln load. Um, I'm going to try to get some answers to what happened to my Chun, chun Plum here. I have no idea. Just really weird. Okay, thank you very much for watching.